Okay, this is the remote control for the H inch uh, monitor. It has the RS485. So first, you have to make sure that the connection is correct on the back. So here you can see you have two connections. One is called A plus and one is B minus. It's for the RS485 connection. You have the same connection in the DVR and on your speed dome. Then this is the transmitter. Transmitter is divided in three parts. First part is the LCD, second part is DVR, and third part is the camera. To switch between the three modes, you have to press this button, LCD, DVR, cam. So I press to show you, and you will see here, it will change. Cam, LCD, DVR. If I want to go to the menu, to the DVR with this transmitter, I have to select DVR and press menu. So you can see, I'm using the monitor transmitter to control the DVR. To escape from the menu of the DVR, I press escape here. Okay, now I want to go to the OSD of the PDZ. First, select camera. You will see camera, then press menu. Then you have the OSD. For the camera, the enter function is the open iris button. The enter button only works for the DVR. So I can move. And then I leave the button. Okay, now I can control the camera. If the speed dome doesn't have any feedback, it means that the RS-485 connection are not correct. And then you have to check again. Okay, now I show you the camera LCD, own menu. So you have the different feature, picture in picture, system, you can set up the color, the sharpness, and press menu to leave. That's it. One more thing, you have to set up the ID of the DVR. Here you can see DVR ID 1. You can change it with the arrows. So, you have to make sure that the DVR ID and this uh, mini menu ID are the same. If it's not different, if it's different, then it won't work. I will change for you the DVR ID to 2. And then try to ask for DVR menu. No feedback. Mm -hmm. That means the ID are different. So cannot control the DVR with this transmitter. Now I go back to the setting. Go to DVR ID. Switch to 1. Enter. Press menu. And I have it. To find the ID, you have to go there. Set up. Mm. Here you can see device ID 1. Mm -hmm. By default, the device ID is 0 which means that any transmitter can control this DVR. So may, please make sure to switch to one to control correctly. Okay. So if you have any question, just ask Jesse. Bye-bye.